disclaimer if you haven't read the book or you know you don't intend to read the book but you haven't seen the movie yet this contains spoilers so if you don't want to be spoiled watch it later so I am filming this episode of Pep Talk the day that it is uploaded because I was so focused on next week's video that I forgot about this week's video. I'm like, oh my god, it's Friday. Okay. So, um, yesterday, um, as you may have seen on my vlog, we went to the drive-ins to see the new Hunger Games movie Catching Fire. It was so good. So I saw on YouTube this morning that Joe and Christopher did a Catching Fire tag. So I decided, since it is still fresh in my memory, I would do that tag for pep talk today. Okay, question one. How fast did you read Catching Fire? I read the book in three days, I think. But I think when I was reading it, I wasn't on holidays yet. So I was still going to uni. Um, so I was just reading it whenever I could. Um, I could have easily like sat down a whole day and just read it, but I didn't have the time to. So, three days. Question two, what district would you be from? Okay, I've considered like every possibility, but I think I decided that I would be from District 10. Um, a couple of reasons. Um, it's not the poorest district, like 11 and 12 are, but it's still not like the capital where everyone's crazy. Um, it's the district of livestock, um, and that's kind of the most interesting to me. Not like electrical or mining or anything, so I think that would be which one I would be from. Number three, which scene were you most excited to see? So obviously the arena, like everyone, because of the water and the clock and the beach and everything. I was also excited to see the... Um, fog and the Jabba Jay scenes. Um, fog, like just to see how they do that and like how they um, change their appearance when the fog got to them and the Jabba Jays, see what they'd sound like. Um, and the scene where Peter gets electrocuted and they have to give him CPR and then Katniss kisses him only because. I've seen so many interviews where they talk about big strands of saliva come from their mouth. So I was like, I wonder if that might have made it in, which I doubt. But so I was like watching it so closely, and there was a string of saliva, but obviously not as big as what they were talking about. Question four: What YouTuber would you want to take into the arena with you? Okay, this one I thought about as well. I was nearly going to say Joe Pesapa because he knows everything about the Hunger Games. Then I thought I would take Jesse from PvP because he was in the army, I think. Some kind of soldier thing. I'm gonna get that wrong. And because he seemed like he'd be strong and like he has pranks, so he could easily make one of his pranks dangerous. I think that's a pretty good. Number five, which of the clock ticks would freak you out most? I think the fog would freak me out the most because it's everywhere, like in air, and air is everywhere, and it travels so fast, and like with the monkeys, you could like kill the monkeys, but you can't kill fog, and it would seem really painful. Number six, the saddest death. Well, I think this one was kind of obvious because there weren't many deaths in this movie compared to the first one. So I'm going to say Mags because she was like a little old granny. Yeah. And she just sacrificed herself for the sake of the others. Seven, which weapon would you want? A bow or a trident? Okay, so I would prefer the bow because then you wouldn't have to like go up to someone and like stab them and you've got like multiple bows, you've just got one trident. But I wouldn't be very good at the bow, I'd miss every time. So I'd prefer the bow 
but it would be more, it would be smarter for me for the, to use the trident. Number eight. What would your, what would be your personal item that you would bring into the arena with you? I want what Peter took into the arena with the photos in it. Because it's like, it just looks like a pendant and then you open it up and it's like, yeah. Even though that would make me cry, but it would make me fight harder. So that was all the questions for the Catching Fire tag. I was not tagged, I just thought I would do it. Um, yeah, so that's this episode of Pep Talk. Um, next episode, Friday, and then every Friday, if I don't forget, like I almost did today. Um, yeah, so stay tuned, and stay tuned for my Monday videos which are the next movie Mondays. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you later. Bye!